This is a 2001 Sterling Elite Searcher caravan. It's a dual axle with a fixed rear double bed. Just walk you around the caravan on the outside. As I said before, it's a dual axle. We've got little vents there for the fridge inside. A couple of little marks around, but not bad for its age. I think it's 12 years old. External storage box. Little mark here. Alco tow hitch. Got a space at the front for storing LPG bottles. Another little storage compartment. Little mark there. The stable door. And there's little marks there. One here, but nothing's broken through. There we go, so if we just go inside. A little cupboard to the right as you go in. And the all important fly screen for the door. There's also a mirror. And a couple of hooks above. It hasn't been cleaned, but it's still in very nice condition. So at the front, we have the two lounge seats that can be used as either two single beds or pulled together by laying on top of this plated base, which pulls out further. And there's storage beneath the seats, which you can either access by lifting up like so or opening the little door to the bottom. The unit between the two seats is removable. That's the information related to the caravan. So if you wanted to make the double bed that bit larger, you just can take that out. i just slide this out like so. A little coffee table. Or if there's just two of you, it's had to put a dining table. There is a freestanding table that goes between these seats, which is larger. I'll show you that in a moment. The fabric and the upholstery is all in lovely condition. No smells, no stains that I can see. Nice thick curtains, which not a lot of fading on those either. So. A cupboard above. Always a little clock there. Another cupboard. Light. And we've got some little down lighters underneath. Well compact there from somewhere. And all the windows have blinds and fly screens. And if you move on to the kitchen area, again storage at the top, little rack there for putting in, uh, sorry, holding plates when you travel, for bowls and cups, a little cupboard, and it's quite a little idea, a little pour down cupboard there. Then the cooker, it's four ring gas hob, and I'm just looking to see what make got a grill and pan and it is a stove's oven or stove's cooker got the pan storage beneath and next to that again another storage cupboard and a little cutlery drawer Electrolux fridge with ice box a little vegetable box at the bottom there all intact and above a stainless steel sink with drainer and mix a tap. 
then at the end here is where the fixed, sorry, the freestanding table is kept. The bedroom area from the living area, little slide along door, and also above is another cupboard which has a swivel base here and that holds the TV. You can either watch the TV from the bedroom or the living area. And you can just about see in there, you've got the aerial socket and a plug. So if we just go back into the main living area, opposite the kitchen is the traumatic heater that runs on 230 volts, sorry, 240 volts or um, LPG. And above that, and above that is the hanging wardrobe cupboard. And just down here we have the fuses and switches inside making all the electrics work. There's also a sliding blind here. That pulls across and again gives a bit more privacy to the bedroom area. And that's just done up here with the popper. Now this is the bedroom area. We've got a double bed with headboard and shelves over there. Cupboards above. And just here, cupboards pop down. So it's nice, nice sort of storage. And there's also access underneath the bed. Can you just see if you're going to lighten up a bit? No. From either that little cupboard door or lifting up the mattress and base, like so. This little cupboard next to the bed with the socket, hair dryers, etc. And mirrored cupboard above. Also, another little cupboard there. On the other side is some shelves with lots of storage space. Nice little area there to display things as well. And moving on into the shower room, this is lovely. A circular shower, right? A rail there to hang towels, they're wet. And this slides around like so. And the door here doubles up as a cupboard door. The it's quite a narrow shelved cupboard, but the door also acts as a door into the shower room as well. It's handy. We've got a vanity sink, a cupboard beneath, a toothbrush holder, another couple of shelves, an electric Tetford swivel toilet. Again, a little cupboard above. A further large cupboard, shelved cupboard in the shower room, which is really handy. And more storage again at the bottom. It really is lovely and clean, this caravan. A couple of little drawers down there. If I just go out the way, you can see there's also a mirror. Air vent as well. It's a lovely bright caravan, in very good condition, ideal for a couple or a family.